Hi there friends and welcome to episode 20 of the tutorial sect. I'm Icon and today I'm very happy to announce that we're going to explore an entirely new cultivation direction today. I don't want to beat around the bush too long. We're going to explore the dragon cliff inscriptions today and this is unlocking the first body cultivation law in game and we're going to introduce our first body cultivator today i am by no means an expert in this method not at all i actually don't know how it works out in the later stages of the game i was only working uh, around with the body cultivators to a beginner degree or until i understood how the mechanics worked and ever since i didn't touch it too much so this is one of the first topics which we will explore together in this series because i i i, I know how it works but i haven't played it out in a longer run so this is going to be quite interesting because we're going to learn together i guess feel free to give me or us much more helpful comments down there in the section if you have anything to add to this topic the first things i openly uh openly can say are i don't know what stat combinations are really desirable for a body cultivator as far as i know the uh pot potential perception and con uh, constitution stats were important as far as I knew, but I'm really, really not sure if I'm right about that. So feel free to add your knowledge here, because there is just too much to know. <laughs> Meanwhile, we gathered a lot of nice uh, gold wood, and we will do a second thing in this uh, episode today, and that's uh, Spectre Refinement because it's about time that we start caring about spectre refining in this uh, series too. But first, I sent Zuruji over to the Dragon Cliff inscriptions because it's about time that she does something there. We're uh, meanwhile gathering resources from our neighbors at the Mistwood Forest. I am starting to wonder if I don't... If I shouldn't... Uh... Pull Hellion away from that. So, possibly, yes. So, we're going to cancel out that. I always try to explore the world as thoroughly as possible. We're going to uh, explore the Exultant Isle next. This is another spot which I want to introduce later in the game or in the series. So, we want to adventure over here. This uh, is the closest evil sect in your vicinity. And as you can see here, they have as outputs Earth Flux and Wicked Flux. Wicked Flux is a substance we still lack. And I'm going to uh, introduce it um, once, we, once we have access for it. To it. Because, as you might have already assumed, we will need to find a location around here to extract that stuff. So, that's what we're going to do now, and that's what's Halion's job now. Overall, I think the sect could use more inner disciples, actually. But I don't see any good candidates so far, so I rather don't. It all depends on your playstyle. I am personally a very, very laid-back and slow player. If you want to optimize your output and you want to have good results and get your sect quickly ahead, you should try and aim for as many inner disciples as you can potentially muster and, and train. For example, this person here, she's really not bad at all. She has a good chi sense and her stats are not fitting right now there's uh, two methods how you can tackle that either you go in a more perfectionist way like i do here and delay them and keep them as outers for an indefinite amount of time or you can uh, transmute them and rebirth them later when you have access for stat increasers but we don't have right now access to those so dragon cliff inscriptions so I'm, I'm skipping the story part here, uh, it's a lot of story, but 
TLDR, we got ourselves a uh, basic law about uh, body cultivation and a new Yao Gai sect has been uh, discovered in the same moment. We will not sell our Samsara pill. So, Primordial Unity Body. As you see here, there's no uh, points uh, in, the, in the attributes. That, that's why I still don't know if I'm right about my attribute distribution, but we'll see. And as you see here, they also have different uh, faces. Like, they don't have a golden core shape at all. There's uh, only different body remolding faces. I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. So first, let's uh, check out who's my best uh, candidate according to my uh, possibly wrong information. <laughs> I still have no clue if this is right. Nobody. Wonderful. It's just what I uh, wanted to see. So we're going to try and recruit some people from outside then next. Meanwhile, there's another thing I have on my mind. And that's... Where's Mount South? Oh yeah, at the Exultant Isle, just uh, be careful with those people. Don't, don't aggravate them, okay? Be nice to them. So Mount South, we will upgrade this place as soon as possible because we're going to unlock the last uh, different type of cultivation there once we have this uh, upgraded. But we will need 500 wood and 500 brownstone to do so. So let's check it out. I should be able to whip that up. So, ooh, 800 spirit stone. Yum. Here, wheat. No, that's not what I was looking for. Wheat. Come on, we don't have more brownstone than that. Are you guys kidding me? But luckily, I already got 400 brownstone lying around here. So, well... The mines here are not really providing too much. Okay, so we're going to claim that, and then this is going to be a long-term project. Why not? We, we consumed a lot of brownstone there. So, by the way, Wild South is now going to be the first uh, place where I just don't choose any policy at, at all. We're just going to put up a logging camp there, that's that. We're, we're not going to do more there. This leads to a uh, situation where we do have a couple of followers, but they will decline. And ultimately, this uh, agency will not have any followers whatsoever anymore, but it will produce timber for me. And that's all it has to do for me. So, we win. Meanwhile, let's just uh, assign a big bad mining job over here. Because the uh, Awakened Beast is somewhere else. So might as well send those outers to some working. And here we have our uh, enemies lying around there. Obviously we already gathered all the uh, Angish Soul Gems there. So 14 of them. Alright, so Ruji is back home soon. And she's the first person we're going to assign to these things. Angus Soul Gems, I mean. Sorry. Talking a little bit uh, difficult to understand. Uh, I'm a little bit uh, jambling right now because my thoughts are racing. So I want to introduce to you first what Spectre Refinement does to give you an impression why we want to have these Angus Soul Gems, because in the comment section there, or on the Discord server, I can't remember, there have been questions why I'm actually doing this. So, Spiritual Breath Chant is a technique which we will use to replenish our Chi. This is pretty cool, she just sits down here and starts inhaling the Chi of this place, and look at that, we're now regenerating almost 400 points of Chi per second. Cost-free. That's why this uh, is a really, really cool um, thing to have. So let's point, put Zuruji on defense because I don't want Leilong to uh, suffer any terrible injuries. And let's disable that again because, you know, I don't want her to be disturbed by, uh, when she's doing really important things. So, Ruji. 
You can have only one pet. Yeah, I just uh, adopted the uh, spirit fox. Urgh, I hate it when it does that. Okay. Sometimes a uh, command sticks to the cursor and doesn't go away. Okay, now, Spectre Refining. Spectre Refining is a process where you use an Anguish Soldier to increase the tier of an item by one. So, there's a couple of things where you can use this on. Of course, the first uh, thing you might think about, or maybe I did, or at least I did, was the uh, equipment. But that's not really uh, the most interesting thing. Uh, upgrading stuff like the Earth Flux is amazing. Because if you upgrade the Earth Flux to tier 12, which is uh, a high-end tier, it uh, yields much more maximum chi for the consumption of that. So this is one really, really massive way of uh, upgrading the potency of your golden cores. The most important upgrade is the Earth Flux, uh, giving it four Spectre refinements to bring it up to Spirit uh, to the tier 12 is really the least you should do. But there's the thing. I'm using a mod for that, so wait a sec. The Great Painter mod also includes an option to give you to enable automatic success on Spectre Refinement. Because without this mod, there is, like you see there, a success rate. And I honestly I, I I hate it, you know? I just hate it. Because in my personal opinion, I, I don't like <clears throat> gambling uh, systems like these. I prefer to have a, a, a to invest something and have a uh, guaranteed result for that. So if you if you are thinking like me, install the great paint great painter mod, and when you're setting it up, you can check mark for automatic success for spectre refining, or you live with the fact that you will need a lot more anger soul gems, of course, because you're gambling and you're going crazy because you need to form a crap ton of them, and you're playing the game like it's intended to be played by the developers. I gotta say, I'm cheating here. I'm not, not taking it lightly. But this game is already in, so friggin' time-consuming that i rather consume the time in a fun way, rather than being angry about rolling a 20% success chance. So, take your own uh, approach to that accordingly. I really don't mind if you're going hardcore, but that's how I roll with it. Okay, enough of that. I keep I kept stalling this because we're um, here at a very important event. This, you should only do this, like they see, say here. Primordial Spirit or both parties have a good relationship. So if you are friends with the evil dudes, you can visit them. If you are not, don't. They will, they will do horrible things to you. And if that's the case, you just go ignore that, and you will still net in exploration uh, percentile uh, success points. So, just saying that. Okay, now that's all out of the... Um, now that's all being said and done. Let's do the first spectre refinement. And here we go. So, I do this with a automatic success, like I said. But what does it make the talisman paper now one tier higher. I did this on purpose, I didn't explain it yet, but now I want to explain it. Talisman paper. The tier of the talisman paper directly has an influence on the potency of the talisman. So if you manage to upgrade that talisman paper to tier 12, your talismans will grow a lot more powerful than these. So... That's the power of Spectre Refinement. And that's why people are uh, really, really after these um, Angus Soul Gems. A, one of the uh, commenters lately uh, stated that you should always Hellgate everything and everybody there because of the loot they have and the Soul Gems that you can acquire. Technically, that's a completely correct uh, statement, but I am... I'm player, I'm notoriously not min-maxing, because I'm just too too lazy to do so. Gaming grows for me tedious when I try to to grind out every little 
every little maximization. That's just me. I really don't. Uh, I really don't uh, think bad about people who who like to min max more than I do. I hope you guys are still capable of watching my videos without gouging your eyes out of because of OCDs. I still appreciate your opinions, guys, because I learned so much about uh, about about the game this way. With that out of the equation, we're here just to chopping away the mountain, which uh, I'm mainly doing because you can sometimes find super rare stone caskets inside there. Maybe we already found one. I highly doubt it, though, but maybe we did. Okay, we didn't. So the next thing I want to do, though, is I want to get Zurugi on a on a cultivation level where she can do spectre refinement more than only once per day because that's just not enough now the next thing i'm going to do is i want to know why your injury is deteriorating so healing was too low oh, okay do we need you are you a vital part of our society no okay i would have uh, taken care of his uh, injuries then Okay, so the next thing I want to do, sorry, that was uh, distracting me. The next thing I want to do is I want to see if I can recruit somebody uh, on the in the vicinity there. Somebody with good stats for uh, body cultivation, presumably. So, tailoring work. I need somebody who's going to be tailoring all day long. That's you. And you're going to do the hauling then. Alright, now I'm waiting for a better time of day, because the later the day, the more uh, people will listen to your call. At least I think so. I don't know if that's really a thing. So here we go, recruit. Today morning, 57 people. Okay. So we're going to check out if we're finding somebody with really high body stats there. I'm still not sure if this is really a thing. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but uh, feel free to correct me. Like I said, there's always a couple of things about this game which I just don't know about. So we're going to look for the high constitution people maybe. I think this guy here, Pooching, we're going to pick him up. He has a battle uh, talent of 10. Pooching is going to be our guy. Let's say who's a pot, if there's any possible uh, match for our sect Chisen's wise, but no. They're all just am bloody amateurs. So we're going to min max today. We're going to recruit everybody. And then we're going to cultivate pooching into into a body cultivation state sorry that it uh, takes so long today i just uh, i think i wanted to introduce that uh, a little bit faster but well we had other topics today and i don't have anybody who's uh, really good at that so i'm going to fast forward here at this point until our friend pooching has arrived and there we are. Our good friend has already joined our ranks, and I already fed him the according uh, medicines to pump up the foundation to the max. So we're now going to promote promote him to the primordial unity body law. So physical or body cultivation is a completely different uh, strain of cultivation, and it's a lot of fun. So we first learn a couple of remold spells. This sounds really, really weird, but uh, I'll summarize it quickly. The body cultivators... No. The uh, so-called Jandao cultivators, that's all these uh, super uh, law-based uh, law ty uh, types, they, they cultivate their, uh, their chi. The body cultivator cultivates his body, literally. And if you uh, check out their uh, remolding menu, there's no part on their body which you can't remold and this is uh this is really really amazing because you uh there's uh, really no part on your body which you can't remold here even even important things like your phallus 
it's all there. You can amplify your lungs, your heart, your spine, your arms, your muscles, everything. And uh, this is done with the same crazy depth that the game has in store for us all the time. So this is quite confusing at, uh, at the start because you really have no clue what you're supposed to do. But luckily there's um, so-called uh, techniques or I don't know how these things are even called. So uh, these are basically blueprints. That's how I like to call them here. Mixed element arm left, mixed element arm right. And this shows you what you have to, 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 to skill to, to get a proper proper result basically so um the every one of these techniques has prerequisites whenever you remold a part of your body you get uh, a selection of upgrades that you can pick and for example here you have to pick the tempered flesh upgrade once for your left upper arm muscles and once for your left forearm muscles and then you have unlocked this technique and can you use it by Fighting and stuff. That's the basics. We're, we're going to flash through that in the next couple of episodes, don't you worry. So this menu will, will see thorough explanations, but I just wanted to summarize it real quickly for now. The other thing which is important for your uh, body cultivators is that they are not accumulating any, any chi whatsoever. They work with true chi, which is uh, a um, much faster fluctuating resource. And they work with essences. Essences are con are acquired while breathing. They they really like, like to sit somewhere and just breathe the breathe in the atmosphere, and uh, acquire the elemental attunements to that. So, if you put a uh, body cultivator right next to a uh, well, he will breathe in water essence. If you put him into a uh, into a uh, ominous room, he might breathe in some essences from that as well. If you put him right next to a room with a tomb, he will get something according to that. If you let him breathe by by sunlight, they will get a sunlight. It, it's really like, it's really like that. And every single one of these essences determines what kind of upgrades you will receive when you when you do your remoldings. It's just that simple. Jokes aside, it's not as as terrible as it might sound right now. It is actually very, very intuitive and way less complicated than the Jean de Hau path, in my opinion. But let's uh, let's take it from there. Just like the Jean de Hau cultivators, though, they they share this experience uh, bar. But unlike the Jean de Hau cultivators, the they fill their experience just by remolding. And once you have remolded yourself enough, you will advance into these other stages. And with the new, with the unlocking of the new stages, you will learn to reform other parts of your body. Right now, I am limited to muscles mostly, and later we will get bones and uh, organs as well. So that's the gist of it. And it's incredibly fun, and I'm so happy that we're finally starting with that topic. So, I know that there are certain room layouts that you should and could you should or could use for body cultivators, which include a array of different items, which yield awesome breathing results. I sadly don't know these uh, to um, to any degree. Because I don't, I don't read guides. I, I only listen to uh, the good advice of my dear audience and my own experimentation. I only read guides if I really, 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 really don't know anymore what to do. That's the only uh, point when I get uh, when I get there. And luckily, I'm quite a creative person, and I never got there. But that's mostly because I get so much help from you guys there. Every single of my uh, ACS series. Even if you don't want to uh, watch them thoroughly, I could. Oh, I would always uh, recommend you to at least look into the comment sections of all these episodes because there are so friggin' many good explanations and interesting things there. That that's amazing. Like uh, sixty percent of my knowledge of the game come from there. So these uh, guys are just waiting to uh, for their admission, but the admission never comes. 
So we, we can't cool down the room to a deadly degree because one soul pearl ain't enough. And sadly, I don't have more of these. At the same moment, my my stove is constantly on fire. I know why that happens. So you should try to do better than me, of course. I really do a terrible work with the <laughs> these sketches here. But um, if your cooks are too bad, they will set the stove on fire. So the Mystic Unity sect is preaching. So that's the point where the other people, the other sect in town tries to do uh, some some recruitment. You can toss some food to these people because uh, this helps. Or I don't know if you can, how you can uh, resolve these otherwise. So we're helping these strangers, of course, of course. And Ruji, is, is she already, has she already gone mad? No. So our friend Pu Jing King now is remolding wherever he can. Thing is, uh, I really don't know how to achieve a better mental stability for these dudes, because uh, right now you can select when they're uh, supposed to breathe every day. So breathing rearrangement allows physical cultivators to all to Let's do this like that for now. The only thing I really don't know is uh, how to balance out their uh, their temper. My body cultivators always end up really, really uh, unhappy, and I I really don't know what to do about their uh, mental state there. So we're going to assign that one to. Well, no, we're going to build a new room there. I was just waiting for some jade blocks to be completed. Alright. Let's build that apartment a little bit larger. Because I want to experiment myself with the necessities of a body cultivator. Of course, you guys are more than... Uh... So... Okay, the bowl of noodles didn't work. I think uh, the, the food option only works when... There, uh, when they hold a fasting ceremony. I'll just experiment myself and you guys are happily invited to uh, to tell me how it's done properly because uh, that's a point where I still could use some help. But we're going to work with our uh, with our own means for now. And that's gonna be okay too. So we found a gold wood bow there. Still had no luck with the exultant sect there. Sadly. And Ruji has to take a break there. Also, we're going to uh, do a little nice trick somebody has mentioned. We're going to send Ruji over to Glimmer Cave where she can just acquire experience passively without me needing to micromanage that all the time. So these guys all died ultimately from thirst. So you don't need to, to freeze them to death actually. They they will just sit there until they die. The uh, the really important thing there is to to make it ominous. That's what's important. Alright. So, I'm still waiting for Ching King's uh, own room, but what's uh, already happening is he's gathering essences. So, let's do at least one remolding uh, face there, so you can see what I'm talking about. So, we're now going to remold our first time. You select the Accupoint remold option, and then you see it costs you 10 stamina to remold, and an essence of your choosing. So we're going to choose the Earth Essences, and as you see here, they uh, they will be used up there. So keep remolding check mark yes please, because you never want to do it only once. And now you see he starts remolding, and whenever he's done with that, she's chowing down her experience. Wonderful. So it's breathing time, you know. And now. 
And once that's done, you get to select your uh, upgrades there. And as you see here, there's my recipe basically. And I really, really uh, can't emphasize it enough. Only pick traits that you know you need. I mean, this all looks uh, really cool. Increases uh, secret body power, increases secret body endurance. But at the end of the day, the uh, these things are all quite useless if you if you don't know what you're doing. And the other thing is, there's only room for six upgrades per uh, per part. And if you take upgrades you don't need, you might ultimately end up at a uh, higher layer of these recipes. So they have four layers where they will start needing other upgrades where you don't have room for the necessary upgrades for the next level. level. So only pick what you have to pick. That's the gist of it. So we're now going to start the remolding process on, uh, also at the forearm muscles. Okay, and as you see here, Tempered Flash is always available, basically. And uh, all these other stats and traits here, for now, we're going to ignore them. And the course of the series, I'm going to explain them, of course, as well. So, we have now increased our technique to the first layer. So, now you go into the equipment uh, uh, thingy here, and where Jandao cultivators have room for equipment, the body cultivators can't equip talismans and such, but they have here uh, room for equipping techniques. So the element arm can be equipped here, and as you here you see the stats. They got attack power, just like artifact attack powers have, and they have a ton of other stats. So that's what you equip, and that's what's going to be one attack the body cultivator uses in combat. While we keep remolding our uh, our body here, there's uh, several things there. First off, we're going to upgrade these uh, things even more and more, which uh, increases the potency of the upgrades themselves. The uh, tempered flesh thing can be upgraded 999 times, as you see here. So that's a lot of bodily remolding because that's just for every single friggin' muscle in your body. Can be remolded 1,000 times with one just one upgrade of the many, but uh, that's a completely different story. But the gist of it is, the longer you keep rem uh, you, you stay remolding, the higher these numbers grow, and therefore it's way easier to create a massive fighter with body cultivation than it is with Jean Dao cultivation. That's why I said it's actually simpler, because at this point, you, you don't need to understand much about body cultivation. You just need to know how to apply these recipes. And you need to know that the longer you do the exactly same thing, the stronger you grow. And all of a sudden you will be able to have a, uh, a nasty fighter in your ranks. Okay, so that sums up the body cultivation episode. I, well, we, we scraped the surface. I provided information. I asked questions. So I'm more than... Uh, interested in reading your comments there so go crazy leave a thumbs up on that video if you enjoyed it as well it makes it more visible to everybody and of course last but not least check out the channel subscribe turn on the bell and don't miss anything from my side in the future see you guys next time bye bye